to look at the properties of definite integrals. If we take the integral from a to a, notice the lower limit and the upper limit are the same. We wind up with the result of zero. If we have the integral from b to a, and we want to compare it with the integral from a to b, it will be exactly the opposite sign. We're interested in the integral from a to b, and c is a, a x value between a and b. We can take the integral from a to c plus the integral from c to b. K is a constant, and we have the integral of a constant times f of x. We take the constant out in front. We're taking the integral of a to, a to b of f of x plus g of x dx. We can break it into two parts. This also works if it's subtraction. If we have f as a non-negative value, then the integral must also be a non-negative value. If our f function is less than our g function, then if you take the integral, then this the integral of the f function has to be less than or equal to the integral of the g function. Let's look at a couple problems. Given the integral of x cubed from 2 to 4 is 10, the integral of x from 2 to 4 is 1, and the integral from 2 to 4 of dx is negative 5. What can we do with the integral from 2 to 2? Notice because these limits are the same, we would have to get a value of 0, and that would be using our first property. The integral from 2 to 4 of 15 dx Notice here that we only have dx, so we could take the 15 out in front times the integral of 2 to 4 of dx. The integral from 2 to 4 dx is negative 5, so we would have 15 times negative 5, which gives us negative 75. Notice that we used the constant out in front, in front here for that one. How about the integral from 2 to 4 of x minus 8? That would be the integral of 8 dx, I'm sorry, x dx minus the integral of 8 dx from 2 to 4. So we could break this into two parts. The integral of x dx we have as 1 minus the integral of 8. That would be 8 times that one. So it would be 8 times the integral of dx is negative 5. So we'd have 1 plus 40, which give us 41. And here, we use the summation and subtraction property from above. Lastly, we suppose we had d, the integral from 2 to 4 of x cubed plus 4 dx. We could break that into two parts, the integral of x cubed dx plus the integral of 4 dx, both of these going from 2 to 4. The integral of x cubed was given to be 10 plus this would be 4 times the integral of dx, which is negative 5, so we'd have 10 minus 20, or negative 10. This summarizes many of the properties that we have for the definite integral.